Okay guys, in this video I will show you how to bypass FRP Google Lock on the latest Samsung devices which are running on Android 9. I will test it on a Samsung Galaxy Note 9, but this method will work on all Samsung devices running Android 9, at least the newer ones. Okay, so let's verify this is already Google locked. We can skip this for now. I have already connected to Wi-Fi to save some time. Okay, just a second. Okay, so you see that it is asking for the Google account in order to continue. We cannot proceed further. Okay, so let's go to the very first page before doing this. Okay, here we are. And for this process, we will need a SIM card with a pin lock. I already have set up a pin lock on my SIM card, but if you need help, uh, check the video description and you still, if you still cannot find some information over there, you need to contact your carrier how to set up a pin lock on your SIM card. So let me make it ready. So what you will do for this process, you will try to open notification panel. After you insert the SIM card, you will have about two seconds to open the notification panel. Yeah, this is what I'm talking about. This is notification panel. Okay, so let me test it on this one. So you will insert the SIM card and then you will drag like this to open notification panel. Okay, and once you, 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 you get it, you hold it. Do not release. While holding it, again, remove the SIM card. Okay. SIM card is removed, now drag again from bottom. Let's try one more time. Nope. Okay, so one more time. Insert the SIM card and drag to, to catch the notification panel. Okay, here we go. Okay, so hit OK and then try again to open notification panel here. Here, like here, it will look like this. Okay, let me focus a little bit. So from top, you can see the notification panel. From here, you need to go to the notification settings or oh, from here you need to go to the search this is the fastest way sorry click on the search icon it will go like this and you will see chrome over here even if you don't see chrome you can search on the finder search let me zoom up a little bit okay click on the chrome here we are on the chrome hit accept and continue hit no thanks on the bottom left okay so we are on internet over here you need to go to the google.com okay and search for android 9 frp by elb viral okay so here we go we got the search results and you need to open the first one uh, bypass slash remove google account lock frp on android 9 okay Okay, this page will open up. You need to close and accept the cookies. Scroll down until you find a green download now buttons. So over here there are instructions how to do what we just said. Okay, you click, here it is. Click here to download. Okay, once you do that, you will go to another page, L Viral FRP tool. This is the tool we, we, that we're going, going to use for Android 5, 6, 8 and 9. So we are running on Android 9, but this tool will work on 5, 6, 8 and 9. Scroll down, again, find the green download now button, which is over here. Here it is. So once you click on this one, something will start downloading. It is Chrome Nick Storage to access the file, but if, you, if the download doesn't start, which happens very rarely, but I would like to explain that to you, you need to long press and hit download link. Download link or save link, depending on the model, but mostly it is download link. Okay, again, Chrome is storage access to download files. Continue, allow, okay, click okay to download it. So 
So something is downloading, it will say open once the download is, is finished and you, you need to click open. Okay, here it is. Download finished, click open. Perfect. Okay, so you will be redirected on this page. Install block, so sorry about that. If you, if you lose it, like me, click on three dots and go to downloads. Here we have the file again. Again, installed blocked for security reason. Chrome. Okay, go to settings. Enable allow from this source. Okay, you need to hit the back button one time. And then hit install that is on the bottom uh, right. And it open. Okay, so here we go. We have two options over here: the bypass FRP and the Google Account Manager APK install. For now, we only need the Google Account Manager APK install for version 5.0. Perfect. So over here, again, it will say that the account is the installation is blocked. Here we go. The installation is blocked. You need to go to settings, enable allow from the source. Hit the back button, scroll down, hit install, that is on the bottom right. Okay, once the installation is done, you cannot open this one, because it is a Google account manager. Just click done. Now we need to go to the bypass FRP, two options will show up, settings and browser sign in. You need to click on the browser sign in. It will go to the read type password page and you can see that there are three dots on the top right corner. Click on this one, hit browser sign in, hit OK. Okay, so this is a page where I need you to sign in with your own Gmail account. So let me sign in, uh, let me sign in with mine. Okay, already signed in. Perfect, so it will take you back to this page. Now we should be good, but to be uh, completely sure, you need to go to Bypass FRP, go to Settings. Okay, you need to scroll down to Biometrics and Security, Fingerprints, Add Fingerprints. And so we're doing this just uh, for the phone to ask for the pin lock. So choose the pin, do not require, it is not important, and let's set up a Easy pin, for example, 0000, zero, zero, zero. something that we can remember. It could be anything. 0000. Zero, zero, zero. Okay, so you, need, you can skip now the fingerprint. That's all we needed. So, why, why are we doing this? Because some devices have two methods to verify the Google account. One, it is uh, to verify the phone, to open the phone. One, it is through the previous Gmail account, and the second is through the previous pin lock or pattern lock. So that's why we need to set up a pin local zone. After you did this, after you did this, just hit back, all the way back, go back to the very first page, which is this one. The SIM card is removed, we don't need it anymore. You start, next, skip for now, next, next. Okay, checking for updates. Reboot, okay. Let me remove the SIM card again. Okay, so I did a restart, sorry about that, just power off and power on. Uh, 
now it should be good let's check it out okay it's asking us for the pin we already know it is zero 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 okay let's set up now we'll go next skip for now already connected to Wi-Fi go next Okay, so here we go. Instead of asking for the Gmail account, now it says that the account is added. Here, my account is already added. You need to click on the next, that is on the bottom right. So basically what you should do right now is you should set up like a new phone. You know, just configure it the way you want. Okay, I'm gonna skip the Google Assistant. Okay, hit next. And check this one okay adding the finishing touches so this may take a few minutes okay that was fast you can skip the Samsung account perfect all done so here we go the phone it is on the home screen so the phone will be like just like a new one so this is a perfect way to do the FRPs you don't interfere in the system, you don't have to use any files, and the phone will take updates regularly for, from Samsung itself. It is best that you make another factory set in order to remove all the mess that we just did, the downloads and other stuff. So to do that go to settings, general management, reset, factory data reset, hit reset, uh, enter the, your current pin, which I said it was four zeros delete all okay so after the phone starts right now it will be just like a new one no google account on it no pin lock just like a new one and it will take the updates regularly okay guys thanks for watching uh, if it worked for you give it a like comment and subscribe